Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at some of the stuff that I bought for Go Wild. I say some of the stuff because I have misplaced some of the stuff. Um, carrying it around my house and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I don't know where I put some of it. So we're going to look at what I do have right here. And then we will look at other things when I find them. So now this first thing I bought with the intention of wearing it at Go Wild. But like, I don't remember. I might have already shown it to you. Possibly. So I got this shirt from... Um, Heather Kell, I think it's still available. Um, it's basically like planner and craft supplies, but in the shape of the state of Texas, which I thought was really cool and unique. So I grabbed that and I will most likely wear that to go wild. Um, if she has like a brunch or something again, which I think she is, uh, might wear it to that. Okay. Um, so the next thing is um, an order I placed from constance um so that's that shop that's got like the really bright colors and the super cool artwork and it's like three z's in the name it took forever for me to find out that it's pronounced constance um so i ordered a bunch of stuff uh including i think most if not all of the washi the first thing is this really cool looking reusable sticker book um i haven't opened it up yet but you know it's just the, the flaps where you can stick your stickers in um, it's like the sleeve type, and it, you get to pick what, um, overlay you want on it, so I picked this one. Um, and then I got, right, and then I also got this reusable sticker album. Not reusable, it's a sticker album. Um, I love this cover, I think this is awesome. Oops, hit the camera, terribly sorry. Oh dear. Okay. I think that might be about right. Yeah. Alright, anyway. So, I think this is really cool. Um, and it's got the sleeves in it for different sized stickers. So you've got, like, the bigger sleeves back here. And then you've got smaller sleeves up here. So you can fit all your different sized sticker sheets in here. Okay, let's get rid of the plastic okay now this stuff's for go wild um so this is a reusable sticker book and it's got like this pink haired go wild i don't know what these are creatures characters i don't know they look cool um and then the back is just like this and i'm pretty sure i get to pick the overlay for this too um so i've been putting uh like labels that come on things in here um, but, you know, it's just a, a usable sticker book, which, you know, I really like these things. Um, and then I got this one for Go Wild to store Go Wild stickers in it, so you'd think maybe I wouldn't have lost half my Go Wild stickers. But, nope, genius that I am, I lost half my Go Wild stickers. So it's the same thing, bigger pockets, smaller pockets, really cute out here. And then I've got glitter discs to put on this one. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So... She's got, I think, other discs, but I grabbed these. They're just multi-glitter. thought they'd look cool. Okay, so there's this stuff. And there's more. And then there's also stuff that my kids stole that I can't find because they're at school. Um, Alright, so there's a lot of washi. And I don't necessarily remember what they're called. Um, <laughs> I think you can still get them on her website. I'm not sure if they sold out or not. I got like two or three different colorways. I think it's two. Um, I don't really know. So we're just gonna look at all of it. Um, and it came with this tissue paper, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna turn it into something. What is it with planners? We like pretty tissue paper or cool looking tissue paper or paper and like good boxes like <laughs> i have so many boxes because i'm like this is a really good box and it's just I, I have boxes all over the place okay so we've got these are drips so this drip has like i think that's a leopard print behind it which hopefully i'm gonna move over here so i can see if you can see it i think you can see it got like the leopard print and the drip and is that grid too and it's grid and this is the same kind of thing 
but without, sorry, without the, um, no, it's got the grid too. Does it? Or am I crazy? I don't know. I see grid, but I could be nuts. Um, so this is just like a different theme, basically. Different colorway, I guess. Because they don't match exactly, so they'd be different. Okay. And then we've got this one. I think this is, what, this is cow print? So, it's just all, these are all like the Go Wild colors. And then there's this one, which I think is slightly different. Maybe not. They might be the same. They might be different. I think they're different because this one has green or something. I don't know. I just like them. I use them. I try not to scrutinize them too much. This one is definitely the other colorway. This is another drip. And this one is leopard print and grid. Which hopefully you can see. And then this is that other colorway for sure. And this is stars with on grid. I like this one a lot. And this is the leopard print with the gradient. And there is grid in there too. And this one's just really tiny grid. And this is, I think, zebra with grid. And there's the cow one. This is different. This is the different colorway for this one. And this one is probably my favorite. It's the stars and the great gradient. I think this one's probably my absolute favorite. And then this is the biggest one. This one's, I guess, 15 or 20. I think it's 20. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's 20. This is just the zebra with the colored gradient. So it's thicker, so it's good for, like, the Hobonichi cousin and stuff on the bottom. Um, Alright, so that's all the, the washi I got. So that's... Three, six, nine, thirteen, because that tiny one's there. So, 13 rolls of washi tape for one event. So, I guarantee you I'll be using this for other things because this is the kind of color palette that I like. Um, so, I'll definitely be using them beyond Go Wild, assuming I have any left. Who knows? I might use it all for. Who knows? Okay, so. Uh, she also made buttons, and I don't have them all here, but I have a good majority of them. So, I, I gave her crap on Facebook and made her make this one because she made a pride one, and I was like, where's Wild Ally? So, here it is. Um, Wild Alumni. And then, I just thought that was cute. Emily thought that one was cute. This one's Go Wild Dallas. This is what, like, the other ones are. I bought a bunch of them because I'm going to throw them into some gifts. And then, this one is Second Go Wild. I do feel like there's one more missing, um, but I don't know what it is, and it's somewhere, it's somewhere. So, these are all the pins, so some will go on my lanyard, some will go on, like, my jacket or a pencil bag or my backpack or something, um, because I could cover half a lanyard with just those, um, and I bought a lot of pins, so. Alright, so now we've got the stickers. And I just lost my washi card, cards. There are two of them. Shoot. Okay. Um, well, when I find those, they'll make an appearance, but they're like a blue glitter um, leopard print, and they're super cool. So, this is the card for Constance. You can find her on all these socials. And then that's the other side, which looks really cool. And then this, I don't know if I bought this or if she gave me this. Um, but it's this leopard gradient on the one side, and this on the other side. And I have two of them, and I placed more than one order, so I don't know... If I bought one and then she gifted me one or she gifted both of them, I don't know. Um, but I like them and they'll be cool in my journal. And then I got this freebie. And this one. And this one. So those are all cool. And then we got die cuts for Go Wild. So all these stickers, I'm pretty sure, are Go Wild. 
and we've got the state of Texas. Let me move these because that's going to be distracting, right? Okay. Then we've got this boot and blue bonnets and hello my name is we don't actually wear tags that say that at go wild just fyi um but it's cute um we got go wild in the big size got it in the smaller sized and the smaller sized the smaller sized and the smaller sized something tells me i wanted to put some of these in some gifts um <laughs> and then i've got the purple haired person the pink haired person and this green-haired person or animal or whatever I don't know what they are I have to ask her what they're called because I don't know um, so these are all like the die cuts that I got pretty sure that's all of them um, and let's see none of this stuff is in order so we got blue bonnets these are all stickers got boots got Texas got stamps with the monster people character things I'm just going to call them characters. Um, got Days of the Week. Those will fit in a cousin. They'll fit in a bullet journal. They'll fit in your regular planner. Um, I think they're too big for weeks, but, you know, I could be wrong. Um, two more of this pink-haired character. A whole bunch more of these go wilds. And we got this sheet. And this sheet. And, and we've got, um, this one's for the Hobonichi Cousin, so it's got the HC in front. I don't remember if there's more Hobonichi Cousins, I'm just gonna stick this on the side. Um, and then we've got this, and we've got this one, and then I've got more of the Hello My Name Is, and then we've got Bubble Days of the Week. Um, these are like the drip kind. These have the, um animal patterns in the back. These have the animal patterns in the back. Boxes. This could work in any planner, um, except it won't. This is too big for the weeks. Um, this page is for the weeks. There's only the one page for the weeks, but I'm gonna put it over here. Um, and then there's this page. And this page. And all these boxes. And then I got two of these. These are actually sticker backgrounds. Um, because my... Well, that's cool. Now I'm glad I got two. Okay, so these are going to go in... I use a uh, Archer Knowledge Journal for my Go Wild uh, memory keeping type stuff. So I can put one on each page. And they connect. That's so cool. Almost completely connect. Yeah, they do. That's awesome. Um, and then I already showed you these. All right, then that's everything that I got from Constance. You should go check out her shop. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying uh, but um, yeah, keep doing it. So go check out her shop. She's got all kinds of things. She's got like sticker books. She's got, um, I think she has like bullet journals. She's got all kinds of things to go check out. Uh, and spend your money on and if you're going to go wild and you need stickers she's got stickers okay next up uh i got stickers from a new small sticker shop that i had never heard of but i saw her post in the group so i went to go check it out um i think these will fit a cousin and or a weeks i don't remember um but there's the sheet so it's got like all these cute little flags and boxes and stuff. And then there is this sheet. And for some reason, I don't know why, I apparently bought two of them. Um, <laughs> don't know why I did that, don't know how I did that, but I did. But these are really stinking cute. Um, she also included these little people things. Um, so they're really, really cute. I'm um, looking forward to using these. Um, I think you have to use permanent marker on them because they're kind of shiny, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so these are going to make it into my journal for sure because they are unique. So this is, um, the sticker kit's called Mijas Go Wild, which I think is hysterical. And, uh, Hola Mija Bonita is 
the name of her shop, but I'll link it below. It's not like a referral or anything, I'll just link it below. Um, so that you guys can check her out. And these two little strips are constantly jumping out of my hands. I might have already shown you this, I don't remember. So this is her Go Wild notebook. It is a notebook, it is not a planner. It does have some planner pages in it. Um, this sticker is off of a purchase from uh, Chrissy and Designs. So you've got your front page, and then you've got the month, and then there's like some weeks, there's a couple of them. I already counted and I took some out and I put the extra pages in the back for like next year. And then you've got like your grid paper and let's see, more grid paper. And then you've got lined paper. I think that's it. I think it's just grid and lined. Yeah. So I've already stuck some stuff in here that I want to put in here, but I'm not going to show you that yet. So, you know, the cover is just like to die for. And I should probably change these to purple metal discs, but we'll see. Um, and then Heather also had a pack of die cuts, which I bought, and I don't know where I put them right now. Um, she had a magnet, um, which is like basically this, but it's like smaller. Um, that's on my refrigerator. And she did enamel pins, and I'm an enamel pin junkie. So, and these are big. Like, these are like Texas-sized enamel pins, okay? there, There's weight here. <laughs> so, this one's like a little planner notebook deal. This one is a cowboy boot cowgirl boot um and this one is a hat and they all say go wild dallas on them and they are very very cute so i like those a lot um she does have a sticker book but i've still got sticker books from last year and i've already bought other stickers and as you saw i have 800 things of washi because she's also got washi so i stuck with the notebook um because even though i use my bullet journal for like the conference memories and all that kind of stuff, that all gets back planned from things I take notes on at Go Wild. So this year it will be this. Okay, next purchase. This is almost the last purchase for things I can find. Um, so this is the sticker book from Live Love Posh. This was actually the, I think, first official piece of, Go oh wait, no, there's, there's more. Okay, this is like the official, uh, first official Go Wild merch that I bought because um, Heather's shirt doesn't count as merch. It came out before uh, Go Wild stuff. Um, so this is the Live Love Go Wild Dallas, Texas 2024 sticker book. Um, I, there were also, there was a die cutter too that came with this and I also bought uh, her washi tape and I don't know where those are, but they're here somewhere and at some point I will find them, um, but they're not down here. So we got all the different color schemes, and let me go back to page. You can get bullets, and then you get, you know, your usual headers for stuff. So you could use this for regular planning. It does not have to be for Go Wild. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, okay, so here there's a cowboy motif, but, like, these are all um, strips of washi. So you've got um, animal prints, stars. These are the gradient. These are gradients with stripes. And then this one's got all these cute little icons. I like that. And we've got more of this here. This one's got like the, the Dallas skyline, but I don't know how well that comes up. It's on this light blue one too, and it's even worse on the light blue one. But if you can see the dark blue one, it, it's the same, just on lighter blue. Um, and now we've got a prep list, go wild budget, and like a countdown, and a packing list. And we got some cute stickers and some florals because you can't have Live Love Posh without florals. And then we've got all kinds of stuff that will look good in my bullet journal. <laughs> um, let me skip a few pages here. Okay. Um, so we've got more. I like these. Um, these are cute. I love this hat. Okay, y'all means all, because we, we don't care where you come from or whatever, come to go wild. Um, so then we've got like some quotes and stuff, in my wild era, best day ever, stuff like that. Um, and then here's all stuff that you can put on like your daily or weekly spreads, like for when registration is and the planner fair, um, your itinerary right here. Um, so you get it in color and you get it in black, um, so you, and a couple different fonts too. And more flowers and cactuses, and then we've got this 
bowl, I guess, where you sat, and we've got people, and, I mean, really, you just, one drawing here, you could make that horse into a unicorn, um, not that that has anything to do with Go Wild, I just like unicorns, we got some more flowers, and we've got some, I guess, country music and clothing related stickers, uh, and we've got more, uh, stickers, a couple quotes, this is a bigger version of the skyline, and same kind of stuff up here. So that's very cool, and it also came with, I think it was one die cut sticker, maybe two, but it was definitely one that I wasn't expecting, and the uh, uh, washi, which I can't find, but they're here somewhere, <laughs> and they're very cute. Okay, uh, let's see, alright, so uh, I had wanted a mug, um, I may have put the mug on Instagram, maybe not, um, I did put it on, uh, the Facebook group for Go Wild, though, so I got this one, um, it's like the one I got last year, uh, just a different person made it, this one was made by Brenda, I'll link her Etsy shop in the description, um, it came with a metal straw, and I don't do metal straws, so I replaced the straw with this one, but it's, um, 30 ounce, uh, metal can tumbler, and it's got the top and the straw, um, I use this one, and I use the Planner Addict one that I bought from Jenny Penny Plans last year, and the Go Wild Washington DC one. I alternate in and out now and then. Um, I can go to work at 7 o'clock in the morning and fill this thing with ice, and when I come home from work at anywhere between 5 and midnight, depending on the day, um, there's still ice in here, and my drink is still cold, and I like refill it multiple times. So, these cups are fantastic. I love them. Um, and I have, unfortunately, dinged it up a little bit, but she will put your name or whatever personalization you want on it, too. So that's really cool. And then I'm going to have to splice in pictures. Um, so I bought from Chrissy Ann Designs their knockoff Stanley mug. They do have Stanleys. Excuse me. That they are engraving. But they also have non-Stanleys that they are engraving. And this one is just really cool. Like, see, I can't have my drink in it so I can't really get it on the camera um so I'll put the but I also got like a personalized nameplate that goes on the top and I ordered this pin from the fabulous planner it's the only thing I ordered from the Fabulous Planner. Last year I got their box. This year I did not. I am glad that I made that decision because I did not like what was in the box. But I did like um, the pin. So when the stuff became available for sale individually, I bought the pin. That will probably go on my lanyard. Um, let's see. Uh, I bought a couple of pins and a sticker, I think, from Tori Artis. Artis? It's Tori. Um, this is one of the pins that is, you know, that, that's the hollow, the amazing hollow here. Um, and, uh, the other one is upstairs somewhere with the possible sticker that I think was there. Um, so I, I also bought some shirts from her, but those are all Texas Planner Babe shirts. Um, they're not necessarily for Go Wild. And then I got stuff from, um... A Little Spark, which is uh, Keisha's shop. She's on Team Wild. Her stuff is cool. I got it last year, too. So I got um, this keychain. I got this pin. And I got... Uh, she did a magnet. She, like, colored the new hotel that we're staying at. And then turned that into a refrigerator magnet. I have the one she did last year, too. So they're next to each other on the fridge. And then Heather's is, like, right below them. Um, <laughs> like, in the middle. So it's like a, a Go Wild triangle type deal. Um... So I got these, I got the magnet, and I got um, all her digital downloads. So I'm like printing her backgrounds and stuff um, on sticker paper. Hang on, let's see. Oh, I don't remember if this one is this year's or last year's. I was just going through grabbing prints that I like. So, like, might be DC ones instead of this year's. I was just printing what looked like, oh, hey, I might use that. Um, and then I'm doing the same thing with the inserts from um, Light to Planner Action. I'm printing those on sticker paper. 
and then putting them in my bullet journal. Um, where did I get this from? Up here. Where I can't reach. There we go. Alright, so yeah, so like these are some of the, the background paper prints you can get, and then um, so they're on sticker paper. And uh, she has like all um, stickers, you can use your Cricut and stuff with them and print them out. I just haven't gotten that far yet, um, but her art is awesome, and I get it every year. Uh, so that's that. Um, so it looks like I have gone through all the things that I have in reach and know where they are. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a couple of your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.